Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Metric of the Month. This is Chris Yates, and today we are talking about percentage of events open longer than 15 minutes. And this month, we are going to take a detour from IT service management and dig further into IT operations management. And as you may know, many large organizations have a separate department for handling critical infrastructure events. These are often called an OC, a NOC, a DOC, or simply an operations center, a network operations center, or digital operations center. And these events they produce are handled outside of the incident management process mostly, although there is often a good deal of integration between the team that handles events and incident management. In fact, we do have CAM metrics that highlight this particular integration, but that is outside the scope of today's video. So let's dig into percentage of events open over 15 minutes. And when you're referring to critical or major events, 15 minutes can be quite a long time. Just imagine the blown SLAs, availability percentages, unhappy customers, and potentially lost bonuses if these highly important interruptions and services aren't addressed immediately. More importantly, the lack of ability to query millions or even billions of events means that you can't see repetitive problems that occur over a 13 month period, or in the case with many tools such as SolarWinds, even 90 days of data for analysis purposes. Of course, with the power of Northcraft Analytics, we have the ability for products like Netcool, BMC TrueSight, ServiceNow, Event Management, and SolarWinds, the ability to store, query, and diagnose massive volumes of data. A perfect example of the use of this capability is in the metric percent of events open over 15 minutes. So let's dig in and take a look. So now we're in our desktop client version of Power BI. I'll often switch back and forth for this video series to show off the different features, but you will notice that there's not much difference in terms of building your dashboards or your reports uh, between the client side version and the web browser version. So let's go ahead and create a new page. And you can see over here on the right of the screen, we have our, our metrics, attributes, calculations, everything preloaded and ready to go for us, thanks to Northcraft. Um, and as I said, everything's pre-calculated, so it's really easy for me to simply drag and drop and, and place a metric on my dashboard and, and get something built in a short amount of time. So, so let's go ahead and start with our metric of the month and we'll go ahead and look for a percentage of events over 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and type 15 in my metadata search bar at the top here. And that should bring up our metric pretty easily. Yep, here it is. Percentage of events open over 15 minutes. Uh, we, we will start with a KPI to get things going. So as always with KPIs, you need a, go a goal, a value, and a trend or, or a date, a time frame. So I will start with value. I will insert my goal. I'm going to turn this into a KPI card. And now I need my trend. So let's go back. Let's go to delete my metadata search here. I'm going to scroll down to my time frame here. Here we are, here's my time attribute, and I will choose month, day of month, excuse me. All right, there we go. And now we're at 61.9% of events open over 15 minutes. Now, as you can see, our goal is 5% here, so our color formatting is off, but that's no big deal. We can simply click the paint roller here under the visualizations tab and go down to color coding and change it from high is good to low is good and now we are in the right uh we're in the red so to speak uh we can easily look at it we, we know that something is wrong here so now let's add in another high level widget here let's go ahead and look at the total number of events open over 15 minutes and here we are right here i just type 15 in again in my metadata search and I have events open over 15 minutes. So let's click that. I'm going to put it at the top here. And let's change that to a number card. As you can see, one, two, three represents that. I'll click that and now uh, there we go. We have over 800,000 events open over 15 minutes. I think this is about a year, year's time frame of incidents. And we'll have to confirm later if we have time, we can look into that. Okay, now let, let's start drilling down a little bit or, or give us ourselves the ability to drill down. So I like using a tree map. It's kind of like the, the, the next step in, in the process. It, it allows you to drill down, allows you to filter really easily and on the fly, and it allows you to visualize large trends quickly and easily. So let's go ahead and search. Let's try type. Perhaps we can look at component type. Uh, there we are. Going to add component type. And let's just look again at 
events open over 15 minutes. We'll look at total events open over 15 minutes. So we can look at our, our biggest offenders here, which in this case is going to be NT underscore CPU. And now, as always with the tree map, if I click one of these items, everything else on the dashboard will fil filter down to show only numbers specific to that item. So it's pretty useful and this allows us to drill down even further. So now that we have our high level information on the dashboard, let's go ahead and begin to drill down into the grain, into some of our data. And we'll do that, we'll start off with the table. I'll go ahead and add it here and make it a little bigger so we can see everything. And, and sure, we can since we have our 15 in the metadata search, let's go ahead and add our events open over 15 minutes. Oops, must have clicked off the table, there we go. And let's go ahead and look at our metric of the month too, percentage of events open over 15 minutes. Awesome. And now maybe we can look at something like an alias. I, I'm sure you could do a host name, host address, something like that, but for simplicity's sake, we'll start there. And I'm also going to move the alias to the front of the table just by changing its order here under the values tab on the right. All right. Now let's add one more thing. Let's look at the classification or the priority. Uh, I'll look at status. <clears throat> yep, here we go. We can add our hierarchy, service operational hierarchy. I'll click status there and perfect. Now we know whether it's open, closed. And now I'm going to sort by percentage of incidents open over 15 minutes. Well, we have 100% there. So let's, let's sort by events open over 15 minutes, the, the count. There we go. Perfect. So now we can see our big offenders. Uh, and now we can go back and click the tree map. We can see everything adjust here. If I wanted to click a particular alias, it, everything would adjust according to the data that's available for that alias alone. So we are good there. We see everything's working. And now that we have a little more space left and a little more time left on our dashboard build here, let's go ahead and uh, fill this area in. Let's add a bar graph. Why not? And let's look at um, let's look at another type. Let's look at type of host, and we'll do that by another count. We'll, we'll look at events open over 15 minutes. That will work. And we see here we have this outlier here. It's it's unnamed. That's just because that is not being entered for it. That may be a process problem you have. And there's another something to look at right there. You just discovered it if you didn't know. These numbers were here. You have over 800,000 that aren't attributed to uh, a, a host type. That may be something to look into, but for now, we'll, we'll exclude that just so we can see better our data. And there we are. And now I will sort this by number of events. There we go, perfect. And now I can click the different host type. Everything else on the dashboard will adjust and we can drill down even more, filter even more. And with that, that's all the time we're going to have for today. I really hope you were able to learn something from this short video and see how quickly you can build these reports and dashboards on your own with the help of Northcraft. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below or reach out to us through our website at northcraftanalytics.com. And stay tuned for the next installment of Metric of the Month next month.